Hey guys, Zach King here with a brand new Motion 4 video tutorial for you. And I'm going to be going over in the new Motion 4, which is out of the Studio 3 package, which is pretty awesome. Uh, you're, I'm going to be showing you how to do a credit roll tutorial, which is Motion 4 made it's pretty simple. And so let let me show you how to do it here. I've gotten my documents credit roll that I've made in Microsoft Word and what you want to do is save that word as an RTF file which is a rich text format and, and once you get that import it into your project in motion and you can see it's imported everything in the list that I had just like I had it in Microsoft Word but which is nice which motion force built in is you can edit so I can you know increase the size which I'm gonna wanna do right here just make it a size you want you can still adjust everything you're tracking, your line spacing, and you can still change all of that and undo those changes. And I'm gonna change my alignment to the center right now. This is all good. You can still adjust your opacity blend modes, you know, regular stuff. But what they've done is you can come to your add behavior, text animation, scroll text. So when you hit the scroll text, you can see this check bo text box says start off screen and it's checked so when I play it here it's gonna start scrolling and you can see okay that that's fine you can change here the vertical or horizontal directions you can see it'd be scrolling at the bottom of the screen like a news flash if you want to do that effect that's how you do it speed control you can change it from automatic which is gonna take the length of the project and say or the how many frames you have down here so 500 frames it's going to fill the entire thing and it's going to end at the last frame and it's going to adjust it automatically to the speed or you can do a fixed and in here you can change the actual speed yourself and the pixels so you or you can do a custom and so you can keyframe okay I want it to start here I want it to end here which is nice but I'm going to keep it on automatic for now and it, you see this button it says reduce flicker well that's nice so you can change it from progressive to interlace depending on the format that you're using in your video now like I said you can edit this text pretty simple in motion and you don't have to go back to the original file which is really handy and all I did was double click so if I'm out in my arrow and I double click it pops up the editing and I could come and simply change something but you can see maybe I need to get to the bottom of the list and I can simply come over here scroll down to the area I want to change and make the adjustment. So text can be a simple task for you now in Motion 4. Just make it an RTF format, come and do the changes, and you're pretty much set.